Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be discussing about AEEE 2021 Phase 4 or the final phase. If you're watching my video for the first time, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get more updates regarding exams. So let's start. So the final date for application is 28th July. So if you want to apply for that, uh, you have certain eligibility. So if you have written phase 1 or phase 2 or phase 3 you are not eligible to write the phase 4 examination which is really an important point and also if you have paid for any of the phases and missed it uh, that means you have not written any phase 1 2 or 3 then you are eligible to write the phase 4 examination and also if you are caught copying in any of the phase you have to submit your grievance and then you are eligible to write the phase 4 examination so generally if you are written any of these three phases you are not eligible to write the phase 4 examination so new applicants are easily eligible to write the phase 4 examination and talking about the examination so it is remote proctored examination and the last day to register is july 28th and the syllabus is cbsc reduced syllabus and the exam is of total 90 minutes that is 1.5 hours and has a total of 60 question with a maximum marks of 180 so there's no negative marking in general all these phases so you'll be having instructions you can see whether you are having negative marking or not uh, during the examination but in the all three phases that are conducted till now there is no negative marking so you can at least attempt something out so the to maximum marks is 150 we'll talk about cutoffs and all that soon so these are all the programs that are offered just take a look at, at this so i'll be saying each and everything about about the examination so make sure you watch the entire video and the level of examination is very easy so it's going to be cbsc like multiple choice questions and uh, the exam is very low level as compared to je or bit set or anything so the exam will be probably easy and uh, about the mock test uh, yeah they say the mock test is mandatory but even if you don't write mock test you can write the main test directly but i say it's better to write the mock test before writing the main examination and coming to the software uh, there is a software called seb light uh, so the link in the description so there are so many issues with this software i better say that if you have already installed the software just uninstall it and uh, neatly install the software again uh, the chrome browser software is the best one first install the chrome browser then install the software link in the description uh, check that i've given the link and so that you don't get any problem even if you get any problem there is a repair tool with that you can do it uh, so requirements and guidelines for the exam you need a webcam and a pc only and also uh, it the camera has to be a bit good and also some internet connection like one mbps is enough like even it's mobile data it's sufficient and guidelines for example uh, for exams it's like online exam so you better not copy because they are trying to make it a bit strict but then a uh, copying will always be there uh, so if you are caught copying your marks won't be recorded that's the thing some other important guidelines include that uh, there should be no noise dismants and uh, no one others in the background uh, no object should be seen on this camera that's it uh, you should be knowing all these because you've written a lot of examinations online and uh, coming to exam issues yeah many of you will be facing a lot of examination issues like login problem and all that so if you're facing any login problem the important thing most important thing that everyone get confused is the login id is your application number so make sure you note down your application number separately so application uh, many of you use your gmail id as a login id but that is wrong you should you need to use your application id and date of birth uh, then you can log in successfully and if you're having any problem during the examination you can contact this a triple e help at the rate amruta.edu or this phone number that is given right here and uh, for any other queries like admission inquiries or anything management or anything you can just contact these numbers right here on the screen and regarding the cutoff like uh, this is the phase four like all these phases were conducted at an average like if you want to get CSC 150 will be the cutoff for CSC at Coimbatore campus there are four campuses and uh, 150 will be the cutoff for the main campus and with any marks if you want to join Amrita you can simply join it and even if you want there's management quota too uh, but a limited seat in that uh, and also like if you want some top four branches your mark should be around 100 
and above so that you can get your desired brand for cac it is 150 and as it is phase 4 it would go up to some 155 like that so depending upon the number of seats that are left and also we have our discord server where students discuss on various educational topics and about various entrance exams so that you get fast updates so join the discord link in the description if you are a student and thank you for watching this video have a great day ahead and make sure you like this video and also share it with all your friends who are writing the examination